All right, so I wanna talk quickly about storytelling, why it's so important and why it's such a great skill to have. So the art of storytelling is, is so great because it not only can captivate people's attention, people will love listening to you. So no matter what setting that you are in, you know, if you um, are in business, if you are looking to increase uh, or improve your dating life, if you are just looking to have more um, friends or even just, you know, cold approaching someone on the street and entertaining them, the art of storytelling is so valuable. And it's funny because most people they have these really cool stories, but then when they go to tell them, they, it's like the first like couple seconds are great and then it just like tanks and you like lose your attention. And then, you know, the, the, the actual story, whether it be the lesson or maybe it's just really funny or the outcome is like great, but they just don't know how to tell it. So in further videos, I'll break down the actual kind of like um, mechanics as far as like tone intuition, um, intonation, I should say, intonation of your voice, um, the hand movements and all that stuff. But what I want to focus on today is just kind of this like chronological progression of the story and being able to kind of cultivate that so that you can really drive home the punchline or the outcome, the, the moral, whatever it is that you're trying to get across in the story. And that's another thing that's great about stories is that you can have these stories um, it's not like you just have to improvise it. And that's a great technique is just go out and when you talk to people, just improvise a completely fictional story. Like something, I love doing it. You know what I really love doing? And it's, it's hilarious is I'll just pretend like I'm on the phone when I'm walking down the street. Just, and this is, that has nothing to do, like I won't even then approach the person or anything, but I'll just make up some elaborate story while I'm on the phone, like really loud on the street walking down. And um, it's hilarious to see people. People will literally, they'll just stop and just watch you. And it's like, you've literally captivated all the attention. So as we're looking at, you know, forming relationships and especially in business, your ability to just capture and hold someone's attention, it's one thing to capture it, right? That's, that's pretty easy. You could just, you know, you know, yell or something. And then all of a sudden, all the eyes are going to be on you. But then of course you can't keep it. You can't just keep on yelling. Otherwise people are going to be like, this guy's an idiot or he's a, you know, he's insane then you lose the attention. So by cultivating this ability to start the story, right, with the introduction, I know, um, you know, if you think about writing a paper, I'm sure everyone that's watching this, you in high school or middle school or college or whatever it is, you know, had to write a paper at some point, right? You, have, you want to start with a good introduction, right, in the story, which is going to open people and grab their attention. And then you want to have a nice kind of, you know, plot progression as you go through, and then you want to have a conclusion. Uh, and it's the same thing with storytelling. The cool thing is, is that you can have these pre-made, you know, you can have these on a, a uh, you know, just um, locked and loaded and ready to go so that you already know the story and depending on the different situation you're in, again, whether it's, you know, business or a social relationship or, um, you know, whatever it is, you can just have that ready to go. And then once you do that, it's like, boom, you know, that conveyor belt where it's just a boom, lock it, load it, and then here we go. And, uh, you know, or like I said, you can you can go the route of um, just complete improv and, and fictional stories. One thing that I will will it's just so funny, especially when I'm when I'm walking. It doesn't matter who I'm walking by, but uh, I'll pretend like I'm on the phone, and uh, you know, cell phones going again. That's all good. Let's keep this video short. I'll be I'll be like uh, I'll be on the phone. I'll be walking by someone. And I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll go pick up the diapers after I'm done um, breastfeeding Johnny. Or I'll just make up something insane, right? Like, um, in a breastfeeding, like, I don't know, I don't know why I said that. But, like, I just make up something insane. And it's so funny to watch people just, just crack up. And um, that's great, too, because it releases so much tension. A lot of times people, when they tell a story are super like tense they're really monotone they don't have good delivery and they don't have any sort of good progression they're just like so this happened and then that happened and then that was that and even though the story itself might have a really good kind of moral to it or, or ending to it uh the way that it's delivered is just terrible so you got to think how how am i delivering it and it's it's just one of the best skills that you can have is storytelling and the better a storyteller that you get the, the, the just better social interactions you're going to have, the more laughs you're going to have, 
the better uh, just you're going to have a ton of new friends and relationships. Everyone loves someone who's really good at storytelling, and everyone has stories. That's not the hard part. Every single person has stories. Unless you literally just sit in your basement all day long and play video games, then I guess you don't really have any stories. And if that's the case, then you just need to get outside and just walk around because just by going out and just doing things, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Just get out of your house. You're going to create stories. So that's not the hard part. The hard part is not the story. The hard part is the delivery of the story and, and creating that captivation and that, that plot development. And if you think about it, throughout mass media and everything, that's all it really is, right? A movie, it's just a really, really good story. A video game, for the most part, is a really good story. A book is a really good story. We love stories. Humans love stories. Everyone loves stories. And also, too, if you're into the dating you know, uh, arena and you want to you know, land more dates and, 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 uh, or just make new friends, the ability to tell a story, invaluable. Just an incredible asset. And it's the same thing in business. Um, being able to tell a great story so good so hopefully the lighting's okay i don't know if you can really see it's it's dark now but um something that i'm working on and uh not only do i like telling stories uh but i love writing stories and in the in these videos as well i'll have uh you know a little series where i'll come on and, and be uh story time in the park is one or story time uh you know in in the, down by the river or whatever i decide to call it and um you know just trying to just just tell the story because they're they're just great they're great fun really and and it's just like man have some humor and, and let go and you know the better that you get the the more relaxed you'll get and the more friends that you'll have so power of storytelling so great so powerful and learn to do it and i guarantee you'll have more friends and you'll have more laughs and you'll have more fun so storytelling get good at it reap the rewards i'll talk to you guys very soon peace and love